Their ultimate goal is to keep families together because they know families in general are better together. Lindsay came to us about four years ago. The Department of Children and Families introduced her to us and since then we continue to be a support to her and most recently she found herself in a situation where she was struggling with homelessness for the first time in her life. And so once again we were able to step in and host her two boys. I am grateful for the organization. I am grateful for every person that says yes to a child, not just a child, but a family that just needs a break. A temporary placement that allowed her to get back on her feet, Lindsay and her boys are now back together. So all of our placements are short term. Sometimes it could just be 24 hours. Parents, they still have access to their children. It's just like if I were to place my children with an aunt or an uncle. These are families that I would trust to care for my own children. These are vetted volunteers that love the community, that want to open up their home and care for children. In addition to temporary homes, they also pair parents with mentors. I am able to get her opinion on things and she's just another support line. It's voluntary, so the parents are incredibly grateful for the help. Grateful for the guidance and for the care their children receive, both Megan and Isis have hosted over 20 children each. It has been something that we do as an entire family and our kids, it teaches them compassion, empathy, and we get to love on these parents. I don't know where I would be without them. Now I am able to look forward to a future. I am able to have confidence within myself that the choices that I make are going to be positive, productive, and healthy.